Tonight is the night that the NBA regular season ends, meaning win or lose, it's all over for our Nets as they play their final game here at home against the Toronto Raptors. And on a serious note, before we discuss the game of basketball, we want to touch on one of New York City's all-time great ballers, Dwayne Pearl Washington for whom the game of life is at stake at this time. Joining me to talk more and that and about that is Eric Hicks of Game <coughs> Over. Eric, welcome. Hey, good to be back, Quite man. some time. I haven't seen you since the yeah, uh, start of the season, back. We've right? been doing a lot of things. So. I know, but first we want to talk about Pearl, man. Yeah. I mean, this is a guy who really turned Syracuse basketball around. Uh, he was one of the main, one of the biggest and the best point guards to ever come out of New York City. From 1983 to 1986, Pearl Washington was arguably the most exciting player in basketball and will go down in history as probably one of the most exciting players in basketball history as far as the college ranks are concerned. Pearl it was and is something else, a very, very special young man. And uh, we send some heartfelt prayers out to Pearl. He's struggling. From what I understand today, even read about it, he's fighting for his life with mm -hmm. um, the ailment that he's dealing with. And over the weekend uh, at Boys and Girls High School, I know Elmer Anderson, and I believe maybe even the Nets, I think they were involved. They yeah, held a so. uh, fundraiser. Yeah, Elmer his Anderson honor. actually right. was his um, backcourt mate at um, Boys and Girls High School. And Elmer Anderson went on to go to St. Bonaventure University. I got to mention my okay, alma mater. St. Pete's, hi, hi. Home of great point guards. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but they, on a serious note, they went and they, um, you know, tried to raise some money and bring some awareness to the Pearl situation. Pearl's a very, very special young man. And the thing about Pearl, he was so humble. He's mm -hmm. just such a humble dude. I've run into Pearl in, in many different situations over the last 10, 15 years. And one particular story that always sticks out with me was a gentleman by the name of Larry Israel was hired by the MSG Network to do a, a special program on the 50 greatest moments in MSG history. So Larry and I are talking, we're kicking ideas back and mm -hmm. forth in the name Pearl. And I said, you got to have Pearl in this thing. You got to have Pearl in it. And he goes, well, can you get a hold of Pearl Washington? And he was like amazed that I could get a hold of Pearl Washington. I said, yeah, I got him right in the phone. I can get a hold of Pearl Washington. Right. I called Pearl, and Pearl was so shocked that Madison Square Garden would honor him with that. He goes, they want me? I said, Pearl, do you really understand what you did to Georgetown in the garden yeah, and for that whole mind. weekend? Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, just a humble guy. And I don't even think Pearl understood the place and, and the, the impact. Impact he has on in, basketball. Impact that he had on guards all across New York City, all across Brooklyn, all across the from, world. From Stephon Marbury and, and, and basically even his crossover was legendary. Yeah. You know what's wild yeah. is that he was at Canarsie High School as like an assistant coach and coaching the girls team yeah. for a while. And the students would and walk. And he was at Jefferson too. At Jefferson also, yeah, yeah. Canarsie first. Yeah. And the students would walk by basketball players and they didn't know who he was. So one day when I was in Canarsie, because Ted Gustus was working there, I said, do you guys know who that is? I said, that's Pearl Washington. And we went into one of the offices, and we went and we got on YouTube, and we watched some of his video. Then they knew who Pearl Washington was, because Pearl was incredible, an incredible young man fighting for his life. He's still an incredible you know, young man. And he's still, you know, he, he, you know when, you, when you look at just to contribute, I mean, the fact that people you know, care so much about him, too, and they're coming from all across the country. I, I think that has to do with uh, his character uh, off the court. You know, we always tell the kids when we're training them in basketball, your personality and your character will take you a lot further than basketball ever will and will secure your legacy as a man and as an athlete. So uh, Pearl really embraced these things. You know, shout out to the mentors and the people that were in his life. And um, Pearl, we wish you all the best. And on May the 1st, out of Brownsville Rec Center, they're holding another fundraiser. So World Be Free, everyone's supposed to come Beautiful. from all Beautiful. over the country, A good especially in uh, terms of basketball. The basketball community is going to come out. Another special thing, which is a story for another time, I introduced Pearl Washington to Earl the Pearl Monroe. Uh -huh. And uh, I was stunned that Pearl didn't know, um, had never met him. I said, this is the guy, your namesake. And I remember introducing the two of them, so that was another classic moment for All me. All right, we got to move on, talk about the Nets. Uh, let's move on. Speaking of dribbling, you know, you, you know one, one, one thing real quick, too. You have these dribbling sensations that are taking place all across the uh, YouTube, uh, I see, on social media. I mean, kids as young as three years old are, are dribbling like they're pros. I love it. I love it. When I first fell in love with basketball, it was more about the bouncing and the dribbling and that dance between yourself and the ball. The shake, right? It was called shaking, man. Shake. That's what we called it. And uh, I love it. The Nets. Speaking of shaking, let's shake up the Nets a little bit. Uh, tonight, it's over, man. 
Right now, the Nets are 21 and 60. Yeah. Okay, they okay. have the third worst record in the NBA. All right. All That's right. the bad news. Okay. The good news, I think, is yeah. the Nets are going nowhere. Okay. As far as leaving Brooklyn, going anywhere. The, this is your team. This is your Brooklyn team. So, no matter what, you know what? We had this conversation last year. They, and no matter where they've been, right? If it's <coughs> Meadowlands, if it's downtown Newark. You know what, man? Nets are the Nets. It, it's, and, it's, and, and the players are good players. The coach, you know, they're trying to do their best, but for some reason, is it the culture of the Nets that they just You know what, accept? as I was coming over here and I was fighting traffic to yes, get here sir. today, it's very easy to come here and pile on the Nets. I'm not piling on. No, I'm <laughs> saying, but I could come here and say a whole lot of negative can. things about the Nets I and this, and it's been can. done in the past. All right. But when you think about it, they're not going anywhere if the Brooklyn community and the, and the Net fans in general can be patient, I think that they can possibly get it right because the expectations now are so low. Coach, next year. Well, it looks like Tony Brown, who I guess is the interim coach, is going to be out. Now, they're talking about Messina from, right. he's an assistant at uh, San Antonio. Okay. And they're... Um, Pop, one of Popovich's... Uh, one of Popovich. And then Sean Marks is the new general, general manager, who's also from San Antonio. So if you're going to steal, if you're going to take from a winning program or get people from a program, what better, what franchise do you want to emulate more than the San Antonio Spurs, one of the winningest franchises in the last 15, 20 years. All right. Speaking of Kevin Durant, over at the uh, Barkley, uh, at the uh, Sty Dome, right? They held a commercial, of course, they're honoring his mother's a father, Mother's Day special. And you said recently, uh, yesterday, they, but they yeah, at the Sty Dome. But, yeah, this is what happened. Okay. Lot, right? Let's not get everybody excited. Kevin right, Durant was not at the Brooklyn right, Sty Dome. Cool. Kevin right, Durant I, wasn't at the Brooklyn right, Sty Dome. Right, However, Kevin Durant, when he gave his MVP speech mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, he mm -hmm. talked about the real MVP yeah. being his mother. Correct. So um, his mother being a single parent, bringing him up, and then all the success that he has, um, you know, gone it over the years, they're doing a special on single mothers, and we had one in our gym, Gigi Brown was there, and they shot a special. Gigi's a, a trainer slash coach here in the New York City area, and she trains girls, but more than just in basketball, she's a life coach. And uh, she's preparing young ladies through sports for life. So they did a special at the Brooklyn Style. At Style, and matter of fact, this movie's coming on the Life Channel Mother's Day, right? We I, believe I believe so. Something? Yeah, I believe it is scheduled for Mother's Day. They said they would update me, so um, that's, uh, that was so an interesting Style Dome's going Hollywood now, huh? Man, let me tell I you, I can't even get in there anymore. No, nah, you can't get. You gotta have a ticket to get in the Style Dome. Now we're hot right now, man, and it's a great thing because it is in the heart of Bed Stuy, Brooklyn, 312 Casiasco, powered by Game Over. Between camps and clinics and things like yesterday, where we're shooting movies, it's going to become, or it is becoming, an institution and we have to really thank St. Philip's Christian Church for making it possible. And you might also partner up with the uh, Brooklyn Nets, from what I gather, right? Brooklyn Nets, we're working on a brand new three-on-three okay. -three, uh, concept that Game Over created, and it looks like like we did with the Knicks with Last Man Standing. It's going to be a citywide competition. There'll be cash prizes. It's going to be an 18 and over thing. A lot going on, man. All right, man. I'll be there, man. I know you're going to need me. Come on down, baby. Right, cool. We need. To, we right. have an elite division, so we're going to save you a spot. All right, good.